beaches and the Treasure Coast. Several inches of rain fallen since it all started just about 24 hours ago. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. Thanks for joining us here at 11. It's been happening all day. Soaking rain, gusty winds, and those cooler temperatures all across South Florida. But it won't last too much longer. WPBF 25 First Alert Meteorologist Chris Martinez has a look at this major soaker. Chris, when will it finally end? Looks like the last of the organized rain tonight is moving out of the picture as we speak. Again, light showers continue tonight, but it's only going to be lasting for the next maybe hour, hour and a half. You can see for the most part, Treasure Coast started to clear out just a little bit here across South Florida. Zooming on in, Life First Alert Doppler radar still tracking light to moderate showers in through majority of Paw Beach County from Jupiter, just south of Hope Sound, uh, just north of West Palm, Riviera Beach, and towards North Palm. Also, Boynton Beach. Delray Beach, Boca Raton, back out towards the west around 441. Light to moderate showers continue, and as we head up toward the Treasure Coast, we're actually starting to see some clearing from Vero to Fort Pierce and in towards Okeechobee. Again, this last organized line of rain continues to lift out of the picture, and once it does, our weather starts to in, uh, increase as far as the rainfall totals going down and also the rain showers will be wrapping up as well. So that is good news. So notice as we head through the overnight hours, rain showers diminishing as we get a little closer towards tomorrow morning. Look at that sunshine icon back into the mix as we'll bring back the sunshine for tomorrow. And then we've got another week cool front on the way. That finally clears things out. So how chilly do we get Wednesday night? And what does the weekend look like? I have all those details in South Florida certified most accurate in just a few minutes. Chris, thank you. The South Florida Water Management District has been preparing for this rain and watching it by pumping water out of canals. The work to shift the water from canals to the ocean actually started Monday. That helps create more room for the up to four inches of rain we've seen and continue to see. The Water Management District plans to keep monitoring those water levels as well. They say they'll also keep pumping even after all the storms pass through. Our weather coverage does not stop here. Now's the perfect time to download our WPBF 25 News app. You can get a live look at the radar anytime, anywhere, and you'll get weather alerts set straight to your cell phone. Survivors of sexual exploitation are calling on the NFL tonight to ban New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft from the league in response to the charges against him for soliciting prostitution at a Jupiter massage parlor. In a letter to Commissioner Roger Goodell, more than 60 anti-sexual assault exploitation advocates, along with 19 survivors of that exploitation, want the Massachusetts billionaire stripped of ownership of the team if the police investigation confirms he bought women for sex at the Orchids of Asia Day Spa. Crimes police say they have on video. Our investigative reporter Terry Parker is in the Breaking News Center now. And Terry, you spoke with one of those survivors tonight. Todd, I did. She's one of 84 people and organizations from across the country urging the NFL to conduct its own investigation into the allegations against one of the most successful franchise owners in NFL history. The letter says if the NFL concludes Robert Kraft's alleged actions violated the league's code of conduct, the NFL must ban Kraft's ownership of the New England Patriots or the very least suspend him. For Robert Kraft to do that, it just it's, it amplifies the issue and it just shows that, you know, just because you're a man in power with a lot of money doesn't make it okay. I spoke by Skype to Jasmine Marino of Bags of Hope Ministries in Massachusetts. It's one of the organizations that signed the letter to the NFL. Buying women, um, whether he knew they were trafficked women or not, is not okay. Women are um, humans, not objects to be used for sexual pleasure. And I just think that there needs to be accountability for that. Kraft is one of 25 men arrested after they allegedly paid for sex at the Orchids of Asia at Day Spa in Jupiter. He has pleaded not guilty to two misdemeanors, allegedly visiting the spa twice in two days. Prosecutors say they are offering Kraft and the others a standard diversion program for first-time offenders that would wipe out their charges. This is video from a story we did when the program at the sheriff's office first started. Now you've got to go down to the clinic Defendants must attend classes where they learn about the dangers of prostitution and human trafficking. They must also admit they would have been found guilty at trial, perform 100 hours of community service, and pay $5,000 per count. Are you uh, looking forward to the hearing, Mr. Woods? It's similar to the plea deal offered to Tiger Woods following his DUI arrest in 2017. The state attorney says all first-time offenders are eligible for these diversion programs, but they must meet the requirements. 
And none of the defendants, including Kraft, have yet taken up the state attorney on the plea deal offer. Todd? Terry Parker, thank you, Terry. The former Palm Beach Gardens police officer just convicted of manslaughter and attempted murder in the 2015 killing of Corey Jones is now asking for a new trial. In this expected motion, attorneys for Newman Raja made a series of legal claims to justify the request for a retrial following the ex-cop's conviction nearly two weeks ago. Court documents show attorneys for Raja claim the jury was not properly instructed on what constitutes justifiable use of deadly force. Raja is scheduled to be sentenced on his conviction April 25th. We know more tonight about what happened right before a small plane crashed into Lake Okeechobee, killing all five people on board. A preliminary report released from the National Transportation Safety Board says the pilot reported engine trouble before that crash earlier this month. The pilot declaring an emergency to air traffic control and reporting a rough running left engine. The air traffic control cleared the plane to land at Pahokee Airport. The pilot said he was shutting down one of the Piper's two engines. Witnesses reported seeing the plane in a low, rapid descent before it crashed into the water. Good Samaritans quickly worked together today to rescue a driver who crashed into a muddy ditch in Vero Beach. A car ran a stop sign, another car did, collided with a sedan and sent another car, a red Nissan Sentra, into two feet of water. The car flipped over onto the roof on impact and the driver was still at the wheel. We each got on different parts of the car and didn't hear anything from the driver at all. And uh, the car was completely flipped over uh, and it looked absolutely terrible. After about five or six heaves, we were able to turn it on its side and at least get it to the point where we could at least uh, buttress it. As you can see, that car was just pancaked. The man, the victim who was in the car, was taken to the hospital with minor injuries and is expected to be okay. Tonight, deputies are looking for a man wanted for a stabbing in a Lake Worth restaurant. The suspect took off on a light blue bicycle on North Dixie Highway. The victim was taken to a local hospital where he had surgery Sunday for severe injuries. And we now know the name of a woman killed in Lake Worth over the weekend. Rebecca Warham died from injuries suffered Sunday in the shooting on Clinton Boulevard. Detectives are now following up on leads in that case. One man in jail, police still looking for a woman involved in a home burglary in Boca Raton. Police say Carlos Salas and the woman smashed a backdoor window to get in. Once inside, they stole jewelry and other items. If you have any information on the crime, please call Crime Stoppers. Martin County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a string of car part thefts in the Martin Crossings community. Deputies say rims and tires are being stolen. At least four cars have been hit so far. The vehicles were put on cinder blocks, as you can see. If you have any information, call the sheriff's office. The White House says President Donald Trump will meet with leaders of the Bahamas, the Dominican Republic, the Republic of Haiti, Jamaica, and St. Lucia Friday at Mar-a-Lago. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says the president will use the meeting as an opportunity to thank the leaders of those countries for their support for peace and democracy in Venezuela. She also says the president will discuss potential opportunities for energy investment. Air Force One's expected to touch down Friday at 12.05, right after the noon hour. We'll bring you the landing live on the air and online as well. Sources tell WPBF 25 News that the First Lady, Melania Trump, and son Barron landed tonight at PBIA. New tonight, a local woman says her son's dog saved her life. Earlier this month, she was having heart trouble. No one could hear her screams for help. But the dog, named Jesse, sounded its own alarm and help got there in time. Ari Haidt is live in Delray Beach tonight with what that dog did next. Ari? And Todd, all of this happened here at the Kings Point community in Delray Beach. Claire Adelman told me she was certain she was going to die, but Jesse the dog was not going to let that happen. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Claire Adelman says she's not sure what kind of dog Jessie is. She's a rescue, a mutt. She's also a pure breed lifesaver. I can't get over Jessie. March 7th, Claire woke up in the middle of the night in her Delray Beach home knowing something was wrong. I didn't feel good. No pains, nowhere, nothing. I just didn't feel good. And then I start saying, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. Claire tried yelling for her children, but Roberta was asleep. Dale was watching TV. They didn't hear their mother but Jessie was on the job. Normally she goes to the back door and whines when she wants to go out. This time she was at the bed, like in my face, whining. And I'm like, go away. But Jessie was persistent, barking and barking until Dale went to see what was wrong. 
And when I opened the door, uh, I saw my mother hanging halfway off the bed. Um, the, her like, eyes were rolling in her head. I checked her sugar, which was through the roof, her temperature. Dale called 911. Paramedics rushed Claire to the hospital where doctors performed emergency heart surgery. The paramedics said 10 or 15 minutes more and Claire would have died. So they told us that we need to go home and buy the dog a steak. <laughs> She's my hero. <laughs> She's my hero. I'm so shocked as hell. I used to call her stupid dog, but not, not anymore. And love you, buy you presents and bones forever. <laughs> And what's interesting is King's Point here has a no pets policy. Uh, Jesse was sort of living here undercover for a little while. I can say that now because Jesse and Dale have since moved out. No word tonight if management here has thoughts about reconsidering that policy after this incident. We're live tonight in Delray Beach. Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News. What a story, Ari. Thank you. Next at 11, horrific images from the fatal rollover crash on I-95 this morning of a charter bus traveling from Florida to New York. Plus, the firefighter gunned down right in front of his home. Why his wife, who called 911, now faces charges related to that investigation. And the unique approach this local man's taking, hoping his story goes viral as he searches for a kidney donor. You're watching WPBF 25 News. Accuracy matters. That's why three local ballparks trust one team. WPBF 25 First Alert Weather, First Data Field, Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium, 15 Ballpark of the Palm Beaches. And fans trust the only forecast, certified South Florida's most accurate, 365 days a year for five years. WPBF 25 First Alert Weather, official forecasters of spring training, and the only local team certified South Florida's most accurate. Three new Nissans, two powerful Titans, one award-winning lineup. Save big on all of it at Nissan Now. No brand received more J.D. Power Initial Quality Awards for cars and trucks than Nissan. Save big on Rogue with Safety Shield 360. Hurry in and experience why more people are loving Nissan now. Lease the Rogue family for $199 per month or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 14 models. Get to Nissan Now. At Lindstrom, we're open every single day of the year. No exceptions. Really? Even on my day? Yep. Even, Even on, on our, our day? day? Indeed. But certainly not on my day. Even on your day, Santa. Because air conditioning emergencies never take a holiday. So neither do we. Where's your AC system won't make it through the summer? Turn to the experts at Lindstrom and save up to $1,800. Or get a free water heater with a qualifying carrier AC system. Those guys. Looking for a Mercedes Benz today? Drive one now at Mercedes Benz of Del Rey. For a limited time, drive home a new 2019 Mercedes Benz C300 for just $4.19 a month. Or step up to a new 2019 Mercedes Benz GLC 300 for just $4.69 a month. Get the best for less than you'd expect right now at Mercedes Benz of Del Rey, an Auto Nation company. Visit MercedesFLA.com. It's Honda's Dream Garage Spring Event. Save on new Hondas from $169 a month. All Hondas are on sale from $169 a month. KBB.com's best value and best overall brand. Only $169 a month. Or save thousands with financing from 0.9%. Get new Hondas for less than the competition from $169 a month. Don't miss the Dream Garage Spring Event this week at your local Honda dealer. South Florida, Honda you're watching WPBF 25 News at 11. A man in Central Florida steals a truck with a six-year-old sleeping inside. Deputies used a chopper and got an assist from a canine deputy to catch the thief. After stealing the truck, the man left the child while on the side of the road. He was safely rescued and the focus turned to the stolen truck. When the suspect abandoned the vehicle and took off on foot, that Marion County canine deputy took him down after a short chase. New details tonight on a deadly industrial accident at Disney. Documents show George Grimes fell to his death from a cherry picker while working last week at Epcot. A new report says Grimes was trying to load that aerial work platform or bucket truck onto a tow truck. Witnesses say he was not wearing any safety equipment. A bus driver is charged tonight with manslaughter. 
and the deaths of two people caused by the rollover crash today of a charter bus on I-95 in Virginia. That trip originated in Orlando. State police say 57 people were on the bus. Nearly all had to be taken to a hospital for treatment. Children are among the injured, including a toddler. Witness says it was like being on a roller coaster as the New York-bound bus rolled over several times on a highway exit ramp about 5.30 this morning. It's like I'm in the spin cycle in somebody's dryer. You know, the, the bus is, is just flipping. An adult male died at the scene, and an adult woman died a few hours later. That's a picture of the driver. He's four years old from Staten Island and now faces two counts of involuntary manslaughter. New developments tonight in the murder of an Indiana firefighter. Just released recordings captured his wife's call to 911, telling a dispatcher that her husband, 51-year-old Robbie Dorr, had been shot to death outside their Evansville home. Was my husband's headlights pull into the driveway, and then I heard a bunch of popping. But the day after her husband was laid to rest, she was charged with obstruction of justice and misinforming law enforcement. Police say she deleted a cell phone call before ever dialing 911. Investigators say she is not a suspect in the murder. Authorities in Houston say more of those huge chemical tanks are on fire tonight. Two more exploded into flames when firefighters briefly lost water pressure. The fire's been burning for 24 hours now. The concern now, it's growing for families in the path of the chemical-filled smoke and debris that went airborne. It's now landing in yards. Tonight, those towering flames burning out of control at this chemical plant for a third day. It is evolving. It is a dangerous situation. Today, debris falling into neighborhoods. They look almost like uh, a lump of charcoal. Officials closely monitoring air quality, insisting it is still at safe levels. The wind carrying that huge plume right towards Houston, but officials say that smoke is 4,000 feet in the air, high enough off the ground, they say, to not cause any health problems. But Jennifer Rosa says she and her 74-year-old mother are already feeling the effects, so much so they've had to block off the windows of their home with plastic. Because my eyes are so red and burning, I have to sleep with a washcloth on my face. Mom's throat started getting worse. Um, she started developing nosebleeds. Um, and so I thought this can't be normal. The company that owns this plant has set up a hotline for anyone impacted, now offering an emotional apology to the community. This isn't an event we wanted or planned. And schools in the area reopened today, but teachers were told to keep students indoors because of this. And now fire officials are saying they don't know how much longer this could keep burning. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Deer Park, Texas. Tonight, the historic floodwaters caused by rains and snowmelt that left at least four people dead in Nebraska and Iowa are finally receding. But the National Weather Service says new flood warnings threaten more than 7 million Americans in areas from the Dakotas to the Gulf Coast. The Missouri River is expected to crest at its highest level since 2011. And there are new images of the devastation caused by those fast-moving icy waters in Nebraska. Peak flood season there isn't until May, but damaged levees are unlikely to be repaired by that time. Chris? All right, Todd, a little quiet tonight as the storm system that gave us the rain on and off through most of today, finally getting out of the picture leftover right now. Just some light to moderate showers still hugging along the coast and in towards Palm Beach County. That's where we go with first alert Doppler radar. You can see again, greens indicating some light rain again to the yellows, indicating some heavier showers, moderate showers right now running through Jupiter, Abacoa back towards West Palm, the western sections out towards the ballpark and down towards Loxahatchee Groves, Royal Palm, Wellington getting in on some light to moderate showers. Same deal, same thing for Boynton Beach, Delray, Boca Raton. Up towards Hope Sound, Jupiter Island, that portion of Martin County, light to moderate showers. Treasure Coast, finally, the rain starting to calm down just a little bit. Numbers are going to stay very uniform tonight. They'll stay right around 62, 63, and that's where we're sitting right now with the clouds and the moisture around. Temperatures are really not going to budge. So again, what you see is pretty much what you get as you wake up tomorrow morning. But we're turning the corner. Finally, you can see storm system is lifting out of the picture, and we've got nothing but dry air right behind that all the way back out towards Texas. So as this begins to move in tomorrow, you're going to notice the sunshine will be back.
back and it's going to set up for a good looking forecast beginning on Thursday. So timing tonight, most of the isolated showers out of the picture. Here's what happens as the system moves out of the picture tomorrow. We get some wraparound clouds and maybe the isolated shower possible as we go through tomorrow afternoon between one and two. That's it. Nothing widespread, nothing that we saw today. And then as a cool front moves through, we'll start to notice that the skies will clear late in the day. You can see rain chances tomorrow a lot less less than what we saw today. Look at that. We're clear skies as we go through Thursday with sunshine returning in full force and that'll take us right in time for the weekend forecast for tonight. Showers wrapping up as we go through the next couple hours. Mild temperature around around right around 64 degrees. Then as we head through tomorrow, I've got 76. Isolated rain showers, rain coverage tomorrow, less than what we did today, only about 30%. Today we had close to 90% and gradual clearing as we work our way to tomorrow evening and especially as we go through the overnight hours. Boating still looking a little bit on the rough side. Seas are up to 10 feet tomorrow. Small craft advisory in effect. High tide, low tide right there. High risk of some rip currents, even though the sunshine will be out because of this a strong northeasterly breeze up to 25 knots. So here's a look at South Florida certified most accurate forecast. As we wrap up tomorrow, things look good. Things are getting better. Sunshine back into the mix. High temperatures where they should be for this time of year in the upper 70s. And as we take into the weekend, look at that. Looks gorgeous. A lot of sunshine. The warmth continues and a nice ending to spring break here across Palm Beach County. Chris, thank you. Tonight, the anti-vaxxer controversy leads to a major lawsuit. A high school student is suing the Northern Kentucky Health Department after he was banned from school as they tried to stop an outbreak of chickenpox. Drum Kunkel's objection to getting a vaccination to protect against chickenpox is based on his religious beliefs. As a Catholic, we believe that, you know, abortion is wrong, morally wrong. Mm -hmm. And since that the vaccines derived from aborted fetal cells, that obviously goes directly against that. The Vatican has previously decided it is morally acceptable for Catholics to get the vaccines because the vaccines protect children. The Brevard Zoo is making some important safety changes after that small child was badly injured when she slipped past the barrier in the rhino encounter on January 1st. Florida Fish and Wildlife just approved those changes. Now, no one under the age of seven can participate in the hands-on encounter with the rhinos. The tour group size will also be decreased. Management of the zoo in Melbourne says they're also adding a new physical barrier so no one can fall through the posts that previously separated zoo visitors from the animals. The zoo does not have a date yet for reopening that exhibit. The attraction closed after a two-year-old girl stumbled into the exhibit and suffered serious injuries to her lung as well as her liver and a kidney when a rhino nudged her with its snout. Also tonight, the battle against the invasive Burmese python in the Everglades just hit a milestone. South Florida man just captured number 2,000. There it is since the snake hunt was sanctioned by the state of Florida. Since the program started two years ago this month, hunters have caught the estimated equivalent of about two and a half miles worth of slithering python. Researchers say the python population multiplied between 2005 and 2010. In response, the South Florida Water Management District launched that program, which pays snake hunters minimum wage to catch pythons. We'll be right back. WPBF 25 First Alert Weather, sponsored by Eldorado Furniture. Everyone's falling for a new Kimmel. Meet the stars of the viral wedding video. At what point did you wet your pants? Then get on your feet for presidential hopeful Kamala Harris. And Mark Hamill has the secrets you're looking for. They made another Star Wars movie. <laughs> Kimmel, new tonight on ABC. Affordable German-engineered cars and SUVs are on sale this week at the world's largest automaker, Volkswagen. Like the new Volkswagen Jetta, with an updated interior and tons of tech for $159 a month, or the longer and wider seven-passenger Tiguan, just $179 a month. Or sign, then drive with zero down on any new Volkswagen. And every new VW comes with America's best six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Shop VWFlorida.com. Why do we talk about money at Steinger Isco and Green? Because after a car accident, we know money matters. $68,000 for six months of physical therapy for a single mom. $345,000 for a student after his back surgery. And $7.5 million for a family who lost a loved one. Of course we talk about the money, because we're serious about helping people with serious injuries. Money matters. Steinger Isco and Green, 800 
turn right. Or if you're behind the wheel of the all-new BMW X5, you can decide not to turn at all. Unless you absolutely have to. The all-new BMW X5. Confidence doesn't take detours. Visit your South Florida BMW centers today for exceptional offers. Why are all these business owners so excited? We're going to Comcast. <laughs> it's ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. It's going to add to the productivity of our business. It's switch and save days at Comcast Business. Right now, get fast, reliable internet and voice for $59.90 a month and save $650 a year. Just one more way we take your business beyond. But hurry, switch and save days ends April 5th. Internet that's reliable, internet that's fast, that's super important. I just want to get it right now. Call today. Comcast Business. Beyond fast. WPBF 25, the only local station certified South Florida's most accurate. Plan your day with continuous weather updates all morning long at the bottom of your screen on WPBF 25 News Mornings. Brought to you by your South Florida Honda dealers. A South Florida man in need of a kidney is using a rather unusual method to find a donor. It involves a T-shirt and the hope that his story goes viral. Andrew Rozier met the man who's reaching out any way he can to find the organ he needs for a life-saving transplant. So I'm dancing for a kidney. Ed Brackman and his partner Sandy Sulfur like to keep a positive attitude. So that life will go on and I'll be continue to dance. Brackman tells me he likes to bike, swim, and dance. The 72-year-old Delray Beach man is also looking for a live kidney donor. The longer one waits to get a kidney, the other issues might develop, which would prevent me from being a candidate. So one wants to get it ASAP, time is of the essence. Which is why he's wearing this T-shirt with his name and phone number on it that reads, please help me find a kidney donor. He says he got the idea after reading an article about a man who was walking around in Disney World with a similar message on his T-shirt. That photo that they took uh, went on Facebook, the, uh, went viral, as the, to use the word, and uh, he got a kidney, I, I, I believe, within, within three or four weeks. He says his insurance company will pay all medical expenses for the qualified donor. He's also working with the Miami Transplant Institute and the Cleveland Clinic. He knows a t-shirt can catch some people off guard, but he has the support of his friends and loved ones. It's got to be done, or else the, the, the alternative is not very good. Ed is sharing his story, not only because he's hoping to find a donor, but he also wants to bring awareness to the Living Donor Program. In Delray Beach, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News. Ed, we hope Angela's story does the trick for you. Now to a story to warm your heart on this rainy night. Meet Cole, third grader at Alamanda Elementary in Palm Beach Gardens. He started something called the Pug Club in kindergarten, charging 50 cents to join, then donating the money to furry friends Animal Adoption Clinic and Ranch in Jupiter. I'd like to take, like, a lot of this money to go to s giving, giving the dogs better medical care. And he came home the other day and was like, I got my money. And I was like, what are you talking about, Cole? And he's like, I got my money, the, the dues for the dogs, like the money that I raised. And we were just, we were floored and so excited about it. But he has always, always, always had a passion for animals. The dues for the dog, he called him. Cole says he chose furry friends because it's a no-kill shelter. He donated $52. Here tonight's winning lottery numbers. You're watching WPDF 25 News. Thanks for making us South Florida's number one morning news. During the Rooms to Go anniversary sale, just $17 a month buys this contemporary three-piece living room in your choice of blue or beige. Just $9.99 or $17 a month interest-free for 60 months. Now at Rooms to Go.
Lincoln Spring Event is here. For a limited time, lease the Lincoln Nautilus for $389 a month, only at your Lincoln dealer. Choosing my car insurance was the easiest decision ever. I switched to GEICO and saved hundreds. That's a win. But it's not the only reason I switched. GEICO's a company I can trust. With over 75 years of great savings and service. Now that's a win-win. Switch to GEICO. Thank you.